Hello, welcome to FizzQuest. This is the solution video for CSIR NET December 2019 Part B Question No. 19. The question is, let C be the circle of radius pi by 4 centered at z equal to 1 by 4 in the complex z plane that is traversed counterclockwise. We need to calculate the value of the contour integral z square by sin square 4z dz. Four options are given and we need to choose the correct option. So let's get started. So this question comes from the section mathematical physics and the concept involved here is residue theorem. So here we are given a function z square divided by sin square 4z whose contour integral value we have to calculate. And to solve this problem we have to use the Cauchy's residue theorem. Now what is this Cauchy's residue theorem? The residue theorem is if a function fz is analytic inside a simple closed contour c except for a finite number of singular points then the contour integral of the function is equal to 2 pi i times sum of the residue of the function at all the singularities within the c. So to calculate the value of the contour integral first step would be to find out the singular points of the function. Now the given function is fz is equal to z square by sin square 4z. So what are its singular points? See singular points are those points at which the function fails to be analytic or in simple terms the function goes to infinity at these points. So z square by sin square 4z goes to infinity when sin square 4z goes to 0 which is equal to sin square n pi. That means 4z is equal to n pi z is equal to n pi by 4 for n is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on. So ultimately the value the singular points for this function are z equal to 0 plus minus pi by 4 plus minus pi by 2 and plus minus 3 pi by 4 and so on. Now we have got all the singular points. Our we, we don't need all the singular points here. We only need those points which are within the contour. So next step would be first of all we have to define the contour and find out what are the singular points present within it. So here in this case our contour is a circle. So first of all let's draw that. So if this is the axis. So uh, here the contour is a circle with uh, uh, centered at z equal to 1 by 4. So if this is your origin then this is z equal to 1 by 4. So uh, the circle is centered at uh, z equal to 1 by 4 and its radius is pi by 4. So here from the center if this is pi by 4 so this will be your circle. So if you look carefully only the points uh, z equal to 0 and z equal to pi by 4. These are the two points which are within the circle. So for the calculation of the contour integration for, by using residue theorem you only need these two points that is z equal to 0 and z equal to pi by 4. So now once we have got the required uh, singular points next step would be to check the singularity of the those given singular points which I have got and find the poles. So now one thing I should uh, clear here that the singularity which should be considered in case of residue theorem is only poles. Other singularities should not be considered. Now when we talk about uh, singularity, I should explain here that uh, there are basically three types of isolated singularities. Uh, first is the removable singularity, second is the poles and third is the essential singularity. Now how to identify the, since we need pole we need to uh, differentiate between these two singularities. So first of all when we talk about removable singularity, removable singularity occurs when limit if you have a singular point z0 then limit of the fun given function at z0 exists or has a finite value then z0 is a removable singularity. Now there is another way where you can identify a removable singularity that is your Laurent expansion. So the to, uh, so in case of uh, finding out finding it out by Laurent expansion of the function, if in case of the Laurent expansion 
there are no terms with negative power of z minus z0 then the function given function is a removable singularity and the given point is a removable singularity of the function now next is the poles so how to define poles so in case of the in terms of limit if you define poles the limit of the function at a point uh, singular point z0 goes to infinity but at the same time limit of the function at uh, z minus z0 to the power n into fz will have a finite value so in that scenario we can say that z0 is the pole of order m see in case of removable singularity the function go at the set singular value is has a finite value in case of poles the given function at the limit z tends to z0 has infinity has value infinity but when we multiply the z minus z0 to the power uh, to certain power and take the limit it will give a finite value then you can say it's a pole of order m now at the same time in terms of laurent expansion uh, here uh, we can finding it find it out by laurent expansion of fz that it will uh, have finite number of terms with negative power of z minus z0 so in case of removable singularity there should be no terms with negative power of z0 in case of poles there should be finite number of negative power of z0 now last is the essential singularity so essential singularity in terms of limit we can say that the limit of the function does not even exist so that uh, that is one way and in terms of laurent expansion there should be infinite number of terms with negative powers of z minus z0 so these are the way where, where you can find out the type of singularity our purpose is to, uh, here we have we have two singular points z equal to 0 and z equal to pi by 4 and we'll check them one by one so first let's talk about z equal to 0 so in order to find it out uh, first of all we'll take the limit of the function in terms of z tending to 0 so it will be limit z tending to 0 z square by sin square 4z so this this we can write it as this will be equal to uh, we will use the expansion formula for sine value uh, that is limit z tending to 0 z square divided by 4z minus 4z cube by 3 factorial and so on the whole square now here in the denominator if you take common z uh, outside when it comes out it will be z square and z square z, uh, this z square with the numerator z square will get cancelled and ultimately you will have limit z tending to 0 1 divided by 4 minus 64 z by 3 q plus and so on uh, so now this term if you set the limit ultimately this will give you a finite value now as for the definition of the types of singularity z equal to 0 comes under the category of removable singularity so now this point we, sh we should not consider for finding the residue in the residue theorem next the second point was z equal to pi by 4 so here what we'll do here uh, is when now what we'll do here is when we set limit z tending to pi by 4 this function if we this will be uh, the z square divided by sine square 4 z this will goes to infinity anyhow now here what we'll do is we will use the setting some power of z minus pi by 4 with uh, multiply with this function and set the limit so since we have a square term in the uh, denominator we will set the limit upon limit z tending to pi by 4 z minus pi by 4 square uh, z minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 square uh, whole square divided by sine square 4 z minus pi by 4 so the given function we have written in this form ultimately this will give you z square by sine square 4 z only we have written it for uh, to ultimately solve this uh, limit okay so this will be equal to limit z tending to pi by 4 z minus pi by 4 square to z minus pi by 4 square plus 2 into z minus pi by 4 into pi by 4 plus pi square by 16 
divided by 4 z minus pi by 4 minus 64 z minus pi by 4 q by 3 factorial up to terms and whole square. So now here what we will do is in this case what we can do is we can take common this term this z minus pi by 4 term from the denominator. So when we take out this term common ultimately this has it will be a square of when it comes out it will be z minus pi by 4 square and already we have a term so this term this term will get cancelled. So this finally becomes this will be limit z tending to pi by 4 z minus pi by 4 square plus 2 z minus pi by 4 into pi by 4 plus pi square by 16 divided by 4 minus 64 z minus pi by 4 square divided by 3 factorial or up to whole square. So now here upon putting the limits this will give you a finite value. So z equal to pi by 4 is a pole of order 2 because when we multiply the square it has given us the uh, finite value. So here we have got the uh, pole that is the only term that is uh, z equal to pi by 4 is the only singular term which is a pole. Now uh, the step is the calculation of the residue. So here we have got the z equal to pi by 4 as pole of order 2. Now as per the regular calculation of uh, the formula for the residue uh, for the function uh, for order m it is 1 by m minus 1 factorial limit z tending to z0 z minus z0 d m minus 1 dz m minus 1 z minus z0 to the power m function of z this is a general formula for a pole of order m our pole is of order 2 <coughs> so here we can use the same uh, formula that is 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial limit z tending to pi by 4 z minus pi by 4 into d 2 minus 1 by dz 2 minus 1 z minus pi by 4 square z square by sin square 4z this we have to do now if you look at it it's a very complicated uh, thing because there are three terms first there are in within the differentiation we have a multiplication and division so it can take hell a lot of time so there is another trick by using the Laurent expansion <coughs> So, if you want to uh, use Laurent expansion uh, for calculation of residue, in terms of Laurent expansion, it is very simple. If you just only have to find out. Now, Laurent expansion is given as summation over n, a n z minus z0 to the power n plus summation over b n z minus z0 to the power minus n. This is the general expansion. So, here what you can do is, uh, you have the purpose is uh, to calculate the residue, we only need the coefficient of z minus z0 to the power minus 1 or 1 by z minus z0. The coefficient associated with 1 by z minus z0 will give you the um, uh, residue. <coughs> so, it is very simple, we just have to expand the function, given function and from that we just have to compute the coefficient of uh, 1 by z minus z0. Now here our z0 is uh, pi by 4. So here what we have to do is we have to find out the coefficient of 1 by z minus pi by 4. So here our given function is z square pi sin square 4z. Again as I have uh, already mentioned this we can uh, write it as z minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 whole square divided by sin square 4 z minus uh, pi by 4. This we have already mentioned while calculating the pole, uh, finding out the pole. Okay, the same process we will use here. So this again upon uh, further uh, expanding this will be z minus pi by 4 square 2 into z minus pi by 4 into pi by 4 plus pi square by 16. This will be equal to 4 z minus pi by 4 minus 64 z minus pi by 4 cube by 3 factorial up to whole square. So here 
in the denominator if you take common 4 z minus pi by 4 term take it out uh, after coming out of the square this will be a, this term will get square and ultimately it will be 16 z minus pi by 4 square so this we can write this as z minus pi by 4 square plus 2 z minus pi by 4 into pi by 4 plus pi square by 16 uh, divided by um, this will be 16 z minus pi by 4 square into 1 minus 16 z minus pi by 4 square by 3 factorial up to the term whole square so this we can write like this now uh, this term these are the also with lengthy terms now just focus here is our purpose is to find out the coefficient of 1 by z minus pi by 4 in the denominator for simplicity we just consider this one this term within the square term uh, this we have to keep but in in this lengthy expression this is, this is a extended expression we will just consider one for the simplicity for the time being and ignore rest of the term why because this is an extended term and if we take the square of this extended term that's this denominator term this one this this will give the higher order terms of z minus pi by 4 which upon division with this numerator will give you higher order negative power terms of z minus pi by 4 which we actually don't need so now even if you take the square of this term the first term will be definitely 1 so for simplification of calculation for the time being we will only just consider as 1 and ignore rest of the terms so as i as you, i hope you have made it clear here because we only need 1 by z minus uh, pi by 4 the coefficient of that term only so here if we and so that means in the denominator we can consider this only as if you consider this as only 1 so denominator we have only 16 z minus pi by 4 square so when this term is divided by this numerator ultimately this will give you 1 by 16 plus pi by 32 z minus pi by 4 plus pi square by 256 z minus pi by 4 square so as i said our purpose is to find out the coefficient of 1 by z minus pi by 4 so here this is pi by 32 so once we have got it uh, next is calculation of this uh, contour integral that is z square by sin square 4 z dz the contour integration will give 2 pi i times the residue that is 2 pi i into pi by 32 which is equal to i pi square by 16 so now let's check the op option so if you look at the option you can see that option c is matching with the result which is the correct answer here